Hello everyone, welcome to Aesthetic Food Tech. Today, we are going to discuss about a topic in food chemistry. That is, we are going to discuss about pectic substances. So, let us go to the video. What are pectic substances? We can say that these are derivatives of carbohydrate. Or in other words, they are methylated polymer of galacturonic acid. Especially these pectic substances are present in primary cell wall and middle lamellae of fruit and vegetables. That is, they are mostly found in the cell wall of fruit and vegetable. Pectic substances include four things. First one is protopectin, second one is pectinic acid, third one is pectin and fourth one is pectic acid. Protopectin Protopectin is a water insoluble form of pectic substances and it mainly occur in immature fruits and some vegetables. The main function of protopectin is that it gives firm texture to unripened fruits. Also, in other words we can say that protopectin is an insoluble methylated polymer of galacturonic acid. And other peculiarity is that it cannot form gel. Pectinic acid Pectinic acid mainly occur in slightly ripened fruits and they are polygalacturonic acids containing more than a negligible portion of methyl ester group. The main peculiarity is that it is able to form gel with very little sugar. That is, in the presence of very little amount of sugar, pectinic acid has the ability to form gel. Pectin Pectin mainly occur in optimum ripened fruits. The main peculiarity is that they are water soluble. Also, pectin has the ability to form firm gel either with acid and sugar or naturally. Pectic acid Pectic acid mainly occur in over ripened fruits. They are polygalacturonic acids free from methyl esters. Their main peculiarity is that they cannot form gel. Let us discuss pectic substances during ripening. At the initial stage of ripening or in raw fruits and vegetables, protopectin will be present. And when the fruit get slightly ripened, it get converted to pectinic acid. And later, when the fruits are optimum ripened, it will get converted to pectin. And finally, when the fruits are over ripened, this pectin get converted to pectic acid. And this is the flowchart of pectic substances during a ripening process. Now, let me point out certain things that you must keep in mind. First one is, over and under ripened fruits are not used for jam and jelly production due to the lack of pectin. Second one is, among pectic substances, pectin is the only thing that is capable of forming gel efficiently. And finally, using over and under ripened fruits for jelly and jam preparation leads in poor texture. Thanks for watching.